I might to do a bit of jazz. In honor of George Melly. This was a charity event, the Sunday before last, was it? Yeah. Um, at the 100 Club in Oxford Street in London. And um, George Melly was there. But he wasn't, he wasn't looking great. <laughs> George is pretty sick now. And um, it's awfully sad because it's an era. Um, and. Um, George Webb's, not Dixielanders, George Webb had a band called the Dixielanders back in 1942. And he's still playing to this day. Uh, but now his band, for some reason, is called George Webb and the Band of Brothers. And uh, the combined ages were 14,912. <laughs> Amazing. Crazy, isn't it? Uh, Kenny Ball was there with his band, and Digby Fairweather with his band. And uh, I got up and did a couple of bits and pieces. I compared the evening, actually. John Prescott was supposed to auction George Melly's striped J&B whiskey suit. But um, famous suit in sort of red, green, and yellow stripes. <laughs> and um, unfortunately, Prescott was ill himself, as I'm sure you know. He had pneumonia. Anyway, so um, they got Alan Yentob from the BBC to do it instead. And Alan made a great job of it. Actually, he auctioned a bottle of whiskey, um, for which he got hundreds of pounds. And uh, I can't remember what the second thing was, but the suit, they got something like 1,500 pounds for the suit. And uh, I thought he started to, he started at about 75 quid. I said, that's ridiculous, he started at 750. But anyway, he got it up to 1,500, so who was I to argue? Good for Alan. Anyway. Um, it, this is a piece which um, I think I learned uh, fairly recently, but I first heard it when I was knee-high to a grasshopper. My parents used to insist on taking me to musicals. And for a man who made his living at the wretched things for a while, I, I must confess that I never really liked them. Um, I think it was partly the fact that the musicals they took me to see were kind of so inappropriate for a child of nine years of age. <laughs> I mean, ha you're nine years old. How are you going to like Brigadoon? <laughs> I mean, Carousel, bad enough. Nine years old, and they take you to see a show where the fat lady sings, June is the skin of the world. Anyway, I didn't mind the film once so much. My mother used to take me to the film once because, you know, my dad was away fighting in the war. No, not that war. I'm not that old. <laughs> the Korean War. And, um, and, <laughs> and so my mother would take me to see things like the Glenn Miller story and the Benny Goodman's. I loved the Benny Goodman story. That was where I first, I don't, I don't know how old I was, but it was the first time I'd ever seen Lionel Hampton. And I have been a lifelong Lionel Hampton fan ever since. Wow. Anyway, the, the, the Benny Goodman story was great. The, the Glenn Miller story wasn't quite so good, but... Um, I love this piece of music. I have a, a, a suspicion that one of the reasons I liked it was because Sid Charisse danced to it. But anyway, that's neither here nor there. I'll play it for you now. <laughs>
Oh, <laughs> my